The Prime Test 50 is a simple to use portable appliance tester with simple pass fail indication. First of all, I'm going to show you how to test a Class 1 appliance. And to do that, first of all, we switch the tester on by holding down the two keys. We connect up our Class 1 appliance to the test socket. We connect the Earth Continuity test lead into the tester. And the other end of the test lead goes on to some exposed metal parts. The Class 1 button is used to do a Class 1 test. However, if I was to push an incorrect key, for example the Class 2 key, the tester is warning me I've pushed the incorrect button. So I now push the Class 1 button. Earth Continuity test starts. Now, it's important that the appliance is switched on to measure the insulation resistance and the tester is warning me to check the connections. That's because I haven't switched the appliance on. So when I turn the appliance on, you'll note the test automatically continues and the test sequence is finished showing the overall result, which is a pass. So that's the tests complete. Now all remains is to label up the appliance with a suitable label and make a note of the test record. We're now going to test a Class 2 appliance. We switch the tester on. We connect the appliance to the test socket. We still need a test lead for a Class 2 test, so we plug it into the top of the tester. And this time, we connect it onto the, any exposed unearthed metal parts. In this case, this plate here. We press the Class 2 button. Again, it's warning me that the appliance is not switched on, so I switch the appliance on. The test proceeds and it's completed. I'll now label up the appliance and make a note of the test result. And we've finished. Now we're going to test an IEC mains cord. We switch the tester on by holding down the two keys. Connect the mains plug end of the cord into the top of the tester. Connect the other end of the cord into the IEC socket on the end of the tester. And press the cord test key. The tester will first measure the earth continuity, then the insulation resistance, and then check the wiring polarity. When it's finished, it shows the overall result, which in this case is a pass and we're finished. Simply label up with a suitable label to show the court's been tested and make a note of the test result in our logbook.